Greetings, everyone, and welcome to The Spirit Side. I'm Paul James Caden, and today on the show, I'm being joined once again by Steve Murray. And uh, in this show, we're going to talk a little bit about his uh, Reiki teachings and maybe uh, venture off into some other uh, interesting uh, areas that I want to, you know, maybe uh, throw some questions at him. But anyway, Steve, <laughs> welcome back to the show. Yeah, hey, we're going to uh, do this again. Sounds good. Okay. So uh, we'll focus, I guess, this show or this podcast, you want to focus more on my uh, basic teachings, I guess, Reiki energy work. Uh, I heard you announce that, so which is fine with me. I mean, Reiki has been the uh, core for uh, all my other learnings and teachings from psychic to uh, shamanism to, uh, you know, the aura healing, uh, chakra healing, so all that. Uh, the core of all my other teachings, again, I repeat, is, is the energy work, which I call Reiki. Um, so, in fact, that's what um, the first books I wrote and DVDs, or, excuse me, videos, which turned into DVDs, was about Reiki energy work. Now, you know, when, when we talked on the phone before, uh, you know, about a week before doing the podcast, uh, I, I said, uh, you know, I, I might ask you a question, and I'm, and I'm going to ask that question uh, before we launch into, uh, you know, some things here. Because there are some people, there's a lot of different people from different spiritual and religious backgrounds that, that listen to the show, you know, on the um the uh, the podcast platforms and YouTube and you know sometimes I'll get people that'll come along and I talk about these kind of things and they'll say oh you know you know you're involved in you know in that that evil you know satanic demonic Reiki and you know uh, contacting spirits you know good luck with that when you're burning in hell type of thing so there, there's people out there that that really believe that you know this kind of thing is somehow like evil and drawing upon you know, dark energies, and, you know, as somebody that has taught Reiki and, and, you know, all these different techniques for so many years, what would you say to those people to maybe calm their fears and to understand that, you know, we're, we're not here, as uh, my grandfather used to say, uh, you know, laying leagues <laughs> with the devil? <laughs> yeah, um, well, you know, my uh, the new video that's coming out, DVD, stream, uh, how to become a 21st century Reiki master. It's accumulation of all my uh, Reiki work or Reiki knowledge for the last over 20 years. And um, and I explained it there, and I'm gonna explain a little bit here because it's a whole you know, hour and 15 minutes. But basically Reiki is your uh, a name for your life force, life energy. So we all know, and it's different cultures, they call it chi, mana, um, Holy Spirit, so we're crossing the, you call it Holy Spirit, but it's, it's a life force energy, and we do, uh, we all have this life energy, you call it what you want, Reiki, spiritual, holy, whatever you want to call it, and it's, it's going, it keeps us, uh, keeps us alive, and once that life spirit, uh, the energy spirit, leaves the body, physical body now, on this, on this physical plane, the body ceases to exist, so, um, and what Reiki does, is you just help give people a, uh, a channel, so it helps give people a boost, like a magnet of this life force energy. And it's in the universe. So I don't know being evil, if your life force, your energy, your Reiki, your mana, chi, is evil, uh, I disagree, and then that's saying your life, you know, what keeps you alive is evil. So um, so that's what's in a nutshell. So uh, Reiki is uh, your life force, your, what keeps, you know, it's what, what, what helps you heal. It keeps your body going, and it's it's up with your life force. I mean, it's 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 throughout the universe. All living beings, animals, and they have this life force. And once this life force goes, they cease again. They cease the physical body. They're in the ceases. So I don't know how that could be evil. Um, your life your life force be evil. I I don't know. But again, if a person chooses to believe that, I they're entitled to their beliefs. But as far as my experience with Reiki. Uh, it's never been evil. It's helped people help themselves. Uh, um, you know, it's help help them heal. Now, Reiki cannot, you know, it's your life force. So if you break a bone, I always use example, you go to the doctor and you set it in a cast, and then you can use Reiki to help it heal faster. So, again, Reiki uh, is, and what I liked about Reiki 
when I first uh, got into it, Paul, years, you know, I keep seeing years, I, you know, long time ago. Um, it's, a, it's an easy technique to learn to help channel the life force, you know, to give you extra energy. So um, it's an easy pro, easy to learn, I guess I could say, easy to learn. Because um, the last program you mentioned is all types of uh, uh, different techniques, and you got to, you know, go through the, the hoop many times. But Reiki was very easy to learn, very easy to learn. And, and, you know, anybody could do Reiki. In fact, a lot of people use Reiki, and they're not even uh, Reiki healers. They're natural healers. So you must know a grandmother or a, a friend or somebody that just has a touch. You get next to them and you just you absorb their energy, the positive effect. So that's what that is, it's just energy. So again, I've, of course, throughout my career as a Reiki teacher, author, I've heard that many times, you know, it's then they'll say Christianity, you know, Jesus. Well, you know, Jesus healed. And again, I don't know, he healed with his hands and, you know, throughout history. So it's energy. So that's my belief. Um, and I know, and you could call the life force what you want to call it, soul, whatever you want to call it. But um, that's what Reiki is, uh, my belief, and that's what we teach. And again, they got the healing hands. I think Barbara, uh, Brennan, you know, nurses use it. Uh, so Reiki's in hospitals now. Uh, you could you could Google this, USC, 80 hospitals. They teach it in 800 hospitals. I, may, I, bring, I mentioned that in my last video, this new video. And... Um, if it was evil, I don't think we'd have it in hospitals and uh, stuff. But again, if a person thinks it's evil, and then we're going to go back to, you mentioned last year, my being a medical hypnotherapist, I've worked a lot with subconscious mind. So if you believe something's evil, it will manifest. So if you believe it's evil, it's evil. But again, my I've said three times, my experience, Reiki, um, I've never seen anybody, anybody harmed by Reiki. Uh, never, never, and again. Okay, but that's uh, that's in a nutshell. But again, if somebody believes that, Paul, and they want to believe that, I, you know, uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll just give them my. Well, that wasn't that too brief. I'll just tell my beliefs, and and that's uh, they could keep theirs, I'll keep mine. Yeah, I, I think now you know with with what you know you were saying, it brings to my mind that you know how now in uh, quantum mechanics, you know, they, they are saying it, everything is energy. You know, there's really no such thing as a solid and you know, possibly no physical universe without the observer and how we see it, how we perceive it. So, you know, the, this whole idea of transferring, you know, energy, you know, spirit energy, universal energy, life force energy, call it what you will, you know, to, uh, to heal somebody, to help somebody, you know, physically, emotionally, you know, it's, it's a practice that's as old as mankind, you know, and our science is now just kind of really catching up with it, you know, and uh, like you said, you know, Jesus did it, many other, uh, you know, healers in the past did it from other religions. So it's, you know, uh, you always say in your videos, you know, Reiki is not a religion. It doesn't matter what your religious belief is, you know, you, you know, you, you can uh, learn Reiki, you can channel the energy, you can help and heal people and help and heal yourself. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, again, something I very much agree with. And, you know, if, if we're going to say it's evil, then... I guess the very building blocks and foundation of the universe, energy, you know, is, uh, I guess it's all evil, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, uh, but again, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, everything, you know, that's another, that's a lot of shows, but everything is energy, so everything is vibration, and, um, uh, like you said, the protons, the cutons, the quarks, whatever, you know, they move, they they bounce from one one side, you know, I say side, you know, miles, and, you know, they, they dissipate and they they show back up. So we're just, you know, the challenge is, again, I is we don't, our brain has not evolved to understand what's going on. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in the universe. There's energy, this and that. And we just not evolved. We're not we're we're not attuned yet to understand fully under comprehend. And I talk about the universal laws and universal consciousness. And we're just not. We we know stuff's going on, just like the life force. We know people see results of life force. Again, the basic one: you have some force in you. You take your last breath. The force goes. You're done in this physical world. And so we don't quite understand that. We know we see it. And I, I go back to law of gravity. You know, we, we, that's a universal law. We, we knew about that, and finally scientists proved that, you know, years later. But they're going to prove that everything's energy. I mean, they're proving that now. Um, 
Ian, the universe is just a small. I mean, I if you think about it, and I, you know, I always amaze me. Every star is in a galaxy, and there's every galaxy. I mean, we're just we're just so small. We're so small here. So, but our brains are small too. We, we haven't we haven't evolved to comprehend the word what's going on. But they do. They are saying the scientists. Like, everything is energy. Everything's vibration. And you take the microscopic level. There's spaces between the skin and this and that. But again, it's all energy. And what keeps that stuff going? The universe. It's energy. So, um, again, with we'll circle the wagon. So, if energy is is evil. Um, you know, now uh, that again, we're all in trouble. But again, if you go, if you go back to the, um, uh, it's a suggestion. So a lot of times, I mean, okay, we're going to my medical level there. A lot of times, people suggest things are evil, uh, and you have to look where you get the beliefs from. So we're, I'm, I'm sort of side, uh, going side to detour. But if you have a belief, you have to look at the belief where it come from. Because a lot of times, you get beliefs instilled by people that manipulate other people, or they they plant beliefs. So they give, you know, manipulation, you know, power, ego. So we go back to that. But again, um, if you look at energy from a pure side, and, and it, it's not evil. And it depends. People that think things are evil, they, they have to have a basis for it. They just didn't wake they just, they didn't just wake up and think, this is evil. They had to have a track record or something going on in their life. Somebody told them, a parent or whatever, um, that something was evil. Um, so, you know, but that's a whole psychology beliefs but yeah but every, but the, the cut to the chase everything is energy like you said paul now you know getting getting away from our uh, our evil universe yeah, I here i <laughs> uh one of the things i wanted to uh you know talk about as well uh in in your new book and in your new uh video becoming a 21st century uh reiki master you uh you know, you dispense for, for people that may not know uh, a whole lot about Reiki. It's it's a form of energy healing, and there's also uh, symbols that that are used to, that are supposed to help you know intensify the intention of the healer and you know the the energy of the Reiki for the purpose for which it's being used to heal somebody. But uh, you pretty much came to the conclusion that said, "Hey, we." Uh, we don't need those symbols anymore, which a lot of people are going to look at, look at and say, "Hey, that's that's Reiki sacrilege, man. What are you doing?" <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, you know what? I I was I already like. <laughs> well, that's not new for me. When I first came out with my other books a long time ago, they they labeled me a maverick, and the mainstream Reiki sort of snubbed their nose at me. But people, I found the right students who bought my books, and I, I kept going and. Uh, what I taught 20 years ago when it came out is mainstream now, and I'm sure the teachings I teach now is mainstream, and I call that uh, symbol ritual, and there's nothing wrong. The symbols um, have intent, and the symbols were supposed to be, Yusui was, was the founder of uh, Reiki, modern Reiki, and he gave symbols to a student after a while. He never started with symbols because um, he, it's, it's all about intent, and the symbols represent intent to stay focused, uh, bring the energy in to your, into the hands and channel the energy, uh, mental, emotional situation. So the symbols had intent, so you could look at the symbols, and when you needed that intent, the symbols would remind you, okay? And that was it. And you were never supposed to use the symbols uh, for any length of time. They were teaching to, so you were supposed to get to a point with a certain, I say six months, we got to go that long, but where you didn't need the symbols because you were able to get the intent, you knew what intent you needed in a healing session, a Reiki, so you knew it. But when the, he died and Reiki came over here, uh, you know, 100, whatever, 100 years ago, Hayatoa, the, the Hawaiian, uh, went to Hawaiian Islands, um, and I say it for Mark, they, the symbols took a life of their own, and, you know, they get into some, I call it the ritual, symbol ritual, they use symbols, they're supposed to have power. I mean, I've heard stories when the symbols had different vibrations, had powers, uh, and people had made up different symbols, or symbols were better. So that's why Reiki, years ago, never caught on, because I did catch up, but not the mainstream, because they had... Uh, superstition, I call it superstition, you know, attached to the symbols. The symbols were powerful, you know, powerful. But the symbols are just teaching tools, so you don't need them. I teach different ways to do it, and I do use the symbols a little bit, but not in the sessions or the attunements. Uh, but again, you're right, uh, people swear by the symbols, and I even mentioned there's, there's teachers now 
there's a and, 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 and people came up with different Reiki. They had dolphin Reiki, fire Reiki, and all types of Reiki. And then a couple of class, uh, Reiki that came up, 14 symbols, 13 symbols, 12 symbols. So it kept going on and on. I mean, by the time you do the symbol ritual, 12 symbols, 10 symbols. I mean, you know, you, it's not necessary if you look, if you do the way I teach it with the intent. Um, and again, um, being cynical, but it's purely a marking, marketing thing. These teachers and classes, they had to make their Reiki different. Okay, you know, Reiki's Reiki. I mean, Reiki is Reiki, you know. Uh, but why could we make it different? People come to my class, well, let's call it Star in the Sky Reiki. <laughs> and let's make my own symbols. Again, if it works for somebody, that is great. I mean, if it helps them heal, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I had a problem with, and maybe you do, is they were charging thousands of dollars, 12, 13, uh, you know, thousands of dollars for these classes. And if you want the extra five symbols, pay here is 500 bucks, you know, 500 bucks for $100 a symbol. And, you know, so when it came to across the, the, the ocean, they just, um, the symbols took a life of their own. It wasn't how it started to be. Uh, Yusui used symbols after a while with the two students and, um, for time being, but you know, people think of the symbols, and if you need the symbols, again, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, keep doing what you're doing, but they're not really necessary. I teach you how to focus on the intent, get the connect to the universal consciousness, get the energy going, um, and you know, learn the intent. Intent in a session, I want to focus on bringing the energy in, focus on the spot, and you know, if if you're focused on symbols, you're not focused on the client. If you're if you're if you're Doing ten symbols in the air and, and chanting this and that. I mean, again, it's it's we we, we go back. People need uh, something for the conscious mind to wrap around to believe. Everybody wants to believe in something, so that's why the more symbols, the merrier, I guess. But yeah, so I'm sure I'll get blasted. But you know what? Uh, my teachings will stand for themselves. People that you know, again, I, as I mentioned earlier. Take my teachings for what they're worth. It works for you. Uh, great. If not, just keep using the 12 symbols and um, doing what you're doing if it's working. Yeah, I, I was never interested in Reiki, uh, again, until I came across, uh, you know, your uh, you know your information. Because I, what I've known about it in the past was everything I ran across was, just like you said, it was like, you know, 12, 13 symbols, 10 symbols. I was like, yeah, it seems like, you know awful lot of stuff to be memorizing just to be, you know, to do a form of energy healing. I, you know, that this, I'm just going to stay away from it, you know, just to, uh, like you said, did, if you, it, did you think it was evil? I didn't think it was evil. I, ju I, ju I just didn't, uh, I just thought it looked overly complicated. And, and my thing is, you know, I mean, I'm not a, a stupid person, but for me, the, the spiritual, you know, intuitive to me has always been, it's simple. It's it's not brain surgery. It's not, you know, overly complicated. So when I saw, you know, a, a lot of these things that just, uh, like you said, charged, you know, thousands of dollars and, you know, seemed so, you know, overly complicated with everything that they were teaching, you know, in their, their uh, class previews, I just said, nah, you know, it just doesn't resonate with me because I, I, I don't think it needs to be that way, you know? Yeah. Yeah, um... Like I said, and, and the teachers throughout the year, and the other Reiki masters, I've, you know, like I said, uh, a lot of people I've known throughout. Uh, and, and there's some people in any profession or any industry, you know, it's their way or the highway. You know, it's it's and, and with healing, it's whatever works for you. Um, and keep it simple. And I've said this to you three, four times. You know, <sighs> simple is not simple. Simple is not simple. Simple is not simple. And again, I, and, I, and I, being psychic, intuitive, and I know why these other teachers I've talked, they wanted to make their product or their courses different. So how do you make it different? You, you know, you, you got a, a simple, like you said, simple energy work uh, teachings. And I, 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 and I tell, I explain what you see, you, you used to do. He used to, his attunements, he'd look in the student's eyes, put the hands in front of the aura, sweep the aura, you know, in front, by the front of the aura, and remove the energy. And then he'd look in the student's eyes and, he would pass, it's not the power, it's it, it, it's empowerment. So you give the student confidence. You don't pass it. I can't say, you know, here, Paul, I'm going to make you a Reiki. I'm going to give you power. I can't give you power, but I can empower you to with your natural abilities to use the energy work. I can. So there's a big difference, but I found throughout my career and now, you know, the Reiki, they get wrapped up in it and it's, 
But again, it's not just, a, it's their way or the highway. And again, any, any profession, you have people like that. And again, the reason it's changed so much is, you, had to make, you know, it's marketing. You know, they have to make a living. They have to do something different. And, and some truly believe that. You know, they had a dream and a spirit came to them and said, here's 10, 12 symbols. Okay. And, and again, I'm not being facetious, but it's just like I said, simple. It's just energy. Energy. You just, you just learn how to transfer the energy. It's the same thing as being next to somebody. You just you empower them with the energy. And, you know, it's like... Everything's self-healing, so if I can boost your energy, make you feel more confident, your body's going to heal itself unless it's too far gone, the immune system. And again, uh, so you, it's just like doctors. They don't heal you. I mean, they give you medication and some just mm, advice. And the body heals itself, but it needs the, the vitamins, the nutrient, and, they need, and you need the right energy. Because if you get an energy block, it doesn't come in. You're not going to heal, or you're not going to heal completely if you, if you don't have the right necessary energy. And nutrient. So it's, it's all complicated, but in the end, in the end, we all lose the life force in some form. So, um, and again, if... That this would be another program. So I was going to, uh, you know, he, he mentioned the medical hypnotherapy. So, um, so in the end, um, everything, you know, we, we circle the wagons again the third time. It's all energy. And uh, the symbols don't represent. The symbols, trust me, are not energy, not magic. And, and you probably, I've had teachers <laughs> tell students, they, <laughs> they email me, they say, well, isn't this a magic symbol? Uh, uh, not necessarily, so. Well, I think, I think people get confused because, you know, and, and other people will say, oh, you know, evil Reiki with the evil symbols because, you know, that they also, the, uh, there's a lot of books on the market right now teaching how to do, you know, magic or, you know, ritual magic with the Reiki symbols and with Reiki. So it kind of uh, crossed the line, uh, you know, I think in that aspect too, you know, and now that it's, you know, there are some Wiccan teachers that say, you know, that the magic of Reiki, you can you know, manifest or, you know, cast spells by, you know, using the, uh, the Reiki symbol. So, you know, I, I think some people get a little confused and they yeah, think, no, it's no. all ritual superstition. I mean, pop and ceremony, look at the, you know, look at, you know, I'm going to say the Catholic church and then, you know, I, I go to Catholic church. I take my son, uh, just cause the, the people there, the energy, uh, but there's a lot of pomp and ceremony. I mean, if you go back through that through 3000 years, there's always ceremony, ritual, uh, and again, it's for the, it's something to wrap the, the, con, the human conscious mind around, something to believe in, it's something you could see, because, you know, people like to see things, um, seeing is believing, but that's not necessarily true. We, we know we're floating in space, so seeing is not believing. Um, but again, uh, we, my, my medical hypnotherapist teacher was the best. I think she's still alive, 25. But if we, we take to essence what you're talking about, Everything, hypnotherapy is, uh, is part of it. It's just power of the suggestion. And so she told me years ago on my first teaching, and it's still today, she says, Steve, everything is hypnotherapy. What she meant by that is everything is suggestion. So if I suggest with the symbols, this and that, and I suggest to you these 12 symbols will heal you, um, you could believe that it could happen. Mm -hmm. okay? So it's a power of suggestion. So all this, what we're talking about, um, ritual is the power of suggestion. So a person can wrap their conscious mind around and believe it. And, um, and once you believe something, it takes another level, you manifest it. And that's another, that's another um, show. But people manifest good things, bad things, you know. But everything's, again, and what's this, it goes back to energy. So if you manifest it. So uh, I'll just be quiet now. But, but everything is, that was my first my best medical hypnotherapist. Everything is hypnotherapy. Everything's a power of suggestion. And, um, you know, you can even take it to, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, um, you know, I first started doing uh, energy healing, just kind of channeling that, that healing energy probably um, maybe 1990, uh, 93, 94. I actually picked up a, a little... Uh, um, meditation tape, you know, for, you know, just, just like general healing and well-being. And, you know, the guy was talking about, you know, channeling this energy and channeling it to other people. And that got me interested in it. 
and uh, you know I never used symbols uh, you know I, I didn't know anything about Reiki back then but um, I, I seen a lot of interesting results doing you know the the energy healing and the you know the Reiki but I, I think the most uh, one that stands out for me um, interestingly enough is you know we we had a cat you know several years ago and you know, she ended up getting uh, like a brain tumor that, you know, she passed away. But, you know, I, I would do Reiki and energy healing for her just, you know, uh, for folks that don't know, you know, you, you, you do energy healing and it can either the, the person or the, the animal you're doing it on can, can take that energy and, and heal or, you know, they, they could take that energy and just have more comfort, more peace, you know, for their passing. And whenever I would do, you know, the, the energy healing on this cat, she would lay on the bed or, you know, she'd get on my lap and she would, you know, as I would start doing it, she would just like lay on her back and she would sprawl out, you know, and just lay there. She would like fall asleep, close her eyes. And, and the minute I was done, it was like she felt that disconnect. She would, her eyes would pop open and she'd look at me almost with this, this look that said, oh, we're done. And she'd get up and go, you know. <laughs> So, so I was like, you know, she she felt it, you know, she she yeah. detected something was going on there, and I found that to be very interesting. Yeah, let me uh, I'll put a plug in. I do have a certification course, three DVDs or three streaming, and a book on how to, uh, 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 you know, heal your animals and pets and uh, psychic how to develop psychic ability and healing for your pets. So I do have a, I do have some teachings on working with animals and. It's, it's a little bit different, but it's basically the same concept, what you just mentioned. Uh, so everything is um, energy and um, that healing with pets, yeah. So a lot of people, uh, they heal their pets like that, or they give the pets energy, and it, and it does work. It does work. I've seen, you know, mir miracles do happen, but usually miracles, as I say, is usually a process. So, you know, I mean, there have been cases where people do Reiki once or twice, and they're healed, and it does happen. I've seen it, I've, I've heard about it, but usually with the energy healing, it's a process. You do three, four, five sessions, uh, the body takes care of itself, what it needs to do, and again, I, I go back to the simple thing. If you, if you break your arm, doctor sets it, and and uh, you do the healing work energy because, you know, but I have had people, you know, <laughs> you know, think the Reiki will fix a broken arm. Well, you know, that's, uh, that's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm not going to happen. So Reiki just helps your whole body. But again, I, and that's the core of my beginnings and uh, which branch into medical hypnotherapy and uh, well, my psychic abilities and this and that. So but it's it's been a, quite a journey with the Reiki. The Reiki is, I firmly believe in it. Uh, we all need the energy. And, um, and I, I, I do mention in the video and, and uh, there's people that you don't have to if you want to, don't want to be a Reiki healer or take the Reiki attunements, there's people out there natural healers. So I'm from the belief if, if you don't need the Reiki teachings and you still get results, do it. But again, the Reiki Reiki teachings give you gives you a protocol, gives you a method, simple method to follow to help you channel that energy. And it's very simple. It's not complicated meditations, this and that. But again, like I said, I've had he, Reiki masters tell me, well, if they're not a Reiki healer they can't heal well that's ridiculous i mean yeah. you know there's natural healers and um that do quite well but they do channel the same energy reiki does it's still energy it's still your life force so whatever these natural healers they're still working with the life force which brings me i like it and what the, well, the most absurd uh, thing i've heard throughout the years i've heard this many times is there's different levels of you know Inner, you know, the people's energy are just different levels of energy, the, the symbols we talked about. And, you know, their, their symbols and energy is better than somebody else's. And, you know, and it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, I've heard that. And, and, um, but again, um, I'll go ahead. I, again, I ramble. I, I, get, I, I get going on a subject. Nah, that, that's all right. And it's, 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 it's just another... Uh... You know, another case in point that, that some people take everything so, uh, you know, try to make it so Hollywood like it's something out of a movie and, you know, it feeds the yeah. superstition of people. Yeah, I got about, you. About and here's another thing. There's, uh, to take that cliche, there's, no, there's nothing new in Hollywood. So they try to make it a Hollywood. So there's nothing new in Hollywood. So except they will 
make it more Hollywood. They'll add maybe a different ending or a different fight scene. So and we go back. But, you know, my, my firm belief is something works for somebody. Again, you know, find a teacher, a Reiki teacher, Reiki master, oh, you're comfortable with, and, you know, learn from them. I mean, because I'm not everybody's Reiki master or teacher. I mean, I'm sure, you know, there's people, uh, after this podcast, a lot of people probably will disagree with me, and, and, that's, and that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, the main thing is the reason I evolved, I've always kept an open mind. Uh, you keep an open mind, you keep moving forward. And even, at my, like I said, I think last, I'll be 69. I'm still, you know, I still, I still have things to learn. I keep an open mind. And, um, you know, you have to change. And the, even with Reiki, it has to evolve. You know, change, lose something that's not working for you. You know, keep, and the reason I did the, the latest videos, because I, I found out, you know, Reiki was a hit and miss. I mean, it worked a lot of, some, a lot of times, and sometimes it didn't work. So I said, there's got to be a way where the percent, it works more often than it does not. Mm. And uh, so that was it, to help people help themselves. You know, give them, a, give them some options. How they, hey, maybe if you try this new method, or what I came up with in my trial and error, it might get you better. It might get you more consistent results. Um, so that's always my philosophy. Just, you know, help people help themselves. That's it. That's awesome. All right, well, we've uh, got another. Oh, I wanted to ask one one last question. You you mentioned this in the uh, the last show, but I, I wanted to ask is the, uh, the grand finale question, I guess. Uh, doing Reiki, do, do you find that, uh, you know, you hear some people say, well, doing Reiki has really opened up their, uh, you know, their psychic abilities, their intuition, or, you know, uh, connecting with, uh, with, you know, spirits. Uh, do you find that to be so that, that doing Reiki has enhanced these things in you or, or no? Yeah, I think I, yeah. Uh, the reason I say that is once you get into like energy work, you become open-minded. Uh, you're more, you, 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 when I say evolved, you get a higher level of consciousness. You're aware of things that happen when you're channeling Reiki to somebody and you actually see them get better in two or three days or a week or something like, you know, time you see them get better. And you become more aware of there's more to, to the universe, you know, there's more to you, there's more to the universe, you know, than, than just you. Uh, so what I'm getting at, once you become evolved, your mind opens up. You see, you know, you get more intuitive because everything is, a, you become, uh, that's been used, enlightened. So yeah, you're more aware. You become more aware of your, what's happening in your conscious. So yes, Reiki is a springboard because everybody, again, everybody has psychic, everybody has psychic abilities. You have to open them up. So Reiki will open up because you're helping other people become more aware. Um, um, yeah, it, it, yeah, definitely. I mean, yes. I mean, doing energy work because you become more compassionate. You see what's going on, and you're more intuitive. And once you once you dial, you know, once you dial into the universal consciousness, this energy that's it's life law. It opens you up, and sometimes you have clearings. Um, yeah, definitely. Your subconscious mind will op uh, open up, and as you heal, and you find. As you heal, help another person heal, you heal yourself on some levels also. So as you help other people and you see the results, yes, you become more intuitive. Psychic, again, being psychic is going, will know what's going on with you, make the right decisions. So yes, uh, now now most people might not want to contact the spirits or the dead and they're, you know, I understand that. I mean, that's something I got involved in because people kept asking me about it. So I thought, if they're going to do it, let me give them a safe way to do it in a way that they it will be successful but yeah the energy work will definitely open your intuitive uh, I have some psych I do have psychic attunements uh, that were my best sellers for years and they do work uh, yeah, I'll tell you a story and it's the problem with the psychic attunements I have like two or three psychic they do work profoundly but I get emails from people in the early years saying oh man I'm seeing numbers this and that and I'm, I'm hearing noises this and that and I go well well, that's that's strange what's going on and then I get on the phone and talk to them and what people were doing, they'd take that psychic attunement, which is supposed, I see, take every once, every two weeks, a couple times, and just let it come naturally because you have to open up your abilities. They were taking the psychic attunement two or three times a day for two or three weeks. <laughs> and No, this is true. And that's why I put the warning. And the problem is they were psychic, but they were getting the information in. They didn't understand it. So, I mean, if you get information in, you got to understand what you're getting. 
and decipher or understand it. So, you know, so once they stopped taking the tumor, everything caught up with them and they stopped getting all the information because, you know, but they were taking these people, uh, and it was more, it was a lot of them. And so I put the, the warning or whatever, the caveat, you know, just take it once or twice. The, the people want to be, so, they want to be psychic so bad, they just, you know, and they got the information, but they, you know, they started getting numbers here. They didn't know, understand. So if you're, if, to be psychic, you want to get the, at your own pace and get the information so you could comprehend it and understand it. So that was, uh, so, and I don't get those emails anymore because I put the, I put the, not the warnings, but I put the caution, just take it once or twice and you get the information on your, on your own. I mean, some people will progress faster than others with their psychic abilities, but yeah. But that's, if you go back to people, why do you want to be psychic? Well, they want to be psychic to have some, I guess, uh, power, power mm-hmm. and ego, you know, have something say, you know, I know this, but that, that, that was, uh, that was different. Uh, so, so if you get myself, so here's the deal. So if you get my psychic attunement, it does work or my attunements, you just take it the instructions, take it once every two weeks. And after that, maybe once every month and just forget about it, you will become uh, you you become more and more aware and intuitive. And the Reiki, and it, it's even better if you're a Reiki, an energy worker, a Reiki healer. So all that all that stuff, especially Reiki as a foundation, will help your intuitive abilities. Definitely. That's, a, that's 100% accurate, what you mentioned, Paul. Awesome. All right, well, we've reached the end of another uh, show here. So uh, once again, if you want to share your uh, your website, uh, any information about yourself or your products with uh, the listeners. Just, uh, uh, again, just Google Steve Murray Reiki or just Steve Murray or Steve Murray Psychic. Uh, if you can go to Amazon, they have all my, uh, like, 40, 50 titles. I lost track, books, DVDs, and basically all, all of them are self-help DVDs and books. And my website is simply healingreiki.com, and there's courses on there. And uh, I do have a couple new DVDs I mentioned streaming. And you can get the products from my website, streaming, digital, PDFs, or, uh, or physical. I still, I still have, people still, people still want uh, you know, hard copies of books and DVDs. But that's about it, Paul. I mean, I appreciate it. So if somebody's interested, they could go there, explore my teachings, and... Again, they'll see that I, I've been around for a long, long time, so I have credibility. I do, I do know what I'm talking about. But again, um, you know, whatever my teachings, I, I always tell people just, you know, ask questions and uh, just make sure everything resonates with you, and um, take what works for you, and then leave the rest. And I think uh, I got that. I think that's part of a. I read an AA philosophy or something someplace. Uh, Maybe I'm not so sure, but yeah, take take what te- so take what teachings work for you, my teachings, and leave the rest. And uh, so I keep it simple. And like I said in the end of the last show, it's uh, it's good stuff. It works. It gets results. And uh, you know, you're definitely a solid teacher. And uh, yeah, if it, yeah. If you have any questions, um, you know, go to the website and you can email give me an email, and I'll follow up and. Um, I'm pretty accessible, uh, you know. Um, anyway, I guess that's another podcast, huh? Yes, and I will put your uh, website in the podcast description for folks that just want to click on it or copy and paste. And uh, right. so, Works. once again, th- thanks for being on the show, and uh, this was awesome. I uh, I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Paul. And for all of you listening, uh, thank you again for listening to the show. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time here on The Spirit Side.